Hello, trash cats. Oh, there's chickens coming in my barn. Oh, I hate chickens. I hate YouTube intros. Like, they're literally, they're all the same. They're so awkward. I feel like I'm supposed to say, hey guys, it's Equestrian Bliss. Like, you know who it is. You came to my channel, you're watching this video. It says my little name under my little video. Anyways. So this was originally supposed to be an like uh, equestrian Dollar Tree finds kind of video, but I ended up changing it to things you can find and use in the barn and stay under five dollars. Now, none of these things I'm going to show you actually have prices on them because they're just in my barn and I took the prices off. Um, so I can't quote you on the prices. Some might be a little over five dollars, but you get the idea. All right. So first, let's start with. So let's start with the things that I know you can find at the Dollar Tree. This first one's going to seem a little weird, but I promise it'll make sense when I explain it. So these are razors, specifically men's razors. It doesn't matter. There's no difference, just a different color, whatever you prefer. The brand also does not matter. This is Barbasol, but they all work the same. Um, so these I use in place of these little nose shavers. And these nose shavers you can get at Dover tack shops online, I'm sure. I've always got them at Dover. But they're like two bucks a piece, and for me, they last like one, maybe two shows. These are at the dollar store for obviously a dollar, and you get five in a pack. So they're going to last you a little bit longer. Um, personally, I haven't noticed a difference in, you know, if one of these lasts longer than one of these, but you still get five for one instead of one for two. So the second thing is going to seem a little basic. It's just a clipboard. I have decorated mine. And what I do with this is I clip all of my paperwork, so all of my, um, you know, show bills, my classes, anything like that, Coggins, whatever, or emergency contact info. I put it all in here, and then you can hang it up on your horse's stall door, or you can carry it around with you or whatever, but that way you always have something open to look at. I also keep a, a copy of everything in, like, a binder, and my horse's papers stay in there, because I don't want those to be, like, carried around with me, and there's no reason for them to be carried around. But things that, and like some shows require you to hang your Coggins on your stall. So you can put that on here, have it on you at all times, and make it look cute. These were one of my first Dollar Tree finds. I'm like, oh, throwback. Anyways, these are just normal, I guess, I find them in like the shower section. Um, but they're just little over the door hooks. And what I do with these is I put them on the outside of my horse's stall at shows, hang bridles on them and stuff. Um, normally, you know, I used to have one of those, like, things from Dover, and they're, like, a bar with, like, four hooks on them and the hooks on the top, but those can just get a hassle to carry around, and they don't always fit on things, and they don't always fit over the doors, so these are just little single hooks that you can guarantee always work. I actually found these the other day. I've never seen these in the dollar store before, and I was super excited, even though it's, like, they're funnels. Why am I excited? I'm me. Don't judge. Anyways, so I got this pack of three funnels and I've been meaning to get funnels for a while because I have a lot of bottles that I put stuff into like you know I will mix my own fly spray which is just like the concentrate and then you put it in water and all that I make my own liniment coat spray stuff like that and I always reuse the bottles but trying to pour the massive bottle into the little spray bottle is not a clean process so picked up some of these, they've got three different sizes, they're perfect for pouring things in there, and it makes the whole process a lot cleaner. Also another super basic item from the dollar store is a lint roller. Um, these last forever, they've actually got a lot on them for the dollar store. And you know, when you're going into the pen, and if you're like me, and you have dog hair all over you, even though your dog is not at the show, um, I just use this real quick, clean up the dog hair, and I'm good to go. Or if you're also like me and your horse likes to use your entire body as a scratching post, these come in handy. So these next couple of items, or three items to be specific, are more kind of specif specified for barn management, but they do come in handy like if you're at a show and you have a cement aisleway or whatever. Um, I actually learned this trick from my trainer, whoopsie, this past weekend at a show. So I got, it does not matter the brand as long as it gets the job done, I don't really care. These all, these three items are all from the dollar store. This is Comet Multi-Surface Cleaner, Spray Cleaner, whatever. Um, this is Surface Cleaner, it's Multi-Surface Cleaner uh, with Citrus Scent. My trainer got Lavender Scent, I got Citrus, doesn't make a difference. And then a bucket. 
And so all I do is after I sweep out the aisle away, spray out all the chicken poop, I hate chickens, um, I take about a cup of this, half a cup sometimes, put it in water, and then I just take a regular cup that I seem to have misplaced, and I just put it all over the entire aisle. And then sometimes you can take a broom and kind of push it around, and it just makes the whole aisle smell so good. And it does last for like, you know, a day or two. It doesn't last forever, but sometimes you just need that, especially in the winter when it, everything's kind of dead and you just get that ammonia smell. Sometimes you just need a little bit of a kick start with a good smell. So my last couple things from the dollar store. First one is something I don't have because I used all of it up, but Epsom salt. They come in little packets. They're like maybe this big, so they're not huge, but you know, if your horse has an abscess and normally abscesses don't take that long to pop. So I just got, like Elliot had one this past week. I got like three bags from the um, dollar store. I could get two uses out of them each bag and his pot, you know, is great. But I didn't know I could find that at the dollar store. So that was an awesome find. Um, and then speaking of hooves, I get cotton balls from the dollar store. You can also get like cotton pads, but mine didn't have those. Um, but so for these, you know, if you're packing a hoof at a horse show, like if you're using magic cushion or I don't know, something else, if, if you're packing a hoof, um, you know, you can line the hoof with the magic cushion or whatever you're getting and then fill the rest of the hoof like up until past the shoe or whatever um, with cotton balls or cotton pads to kind of take up the space so you're not using a ton of magic cushion, which is not cheap. Um, so it's kind of just saving you product. And yeah, the cotton balls are a dollar. I don't even know how many are in here, but a hundred, a hundred are in here. So you get a good amount. Um, and yeah, and they don't make a mess when you're trying to pull them out. Anywho, last item is this little travel pack of wet wipes. Um, sometimes, or I used to really get the little canisters of it, but I found that they're really hard to close or keep closed just because they're cheap and so everything ends up drying out, but I've had good luck with these because these will seal shut and you can always put tape over them if you need to. Um, I'll use these to do a quick, quick wipe off of my show boots, my halter, my bridle, whatever I need to do, my horse's face, they're super safe. Um, they can't, they don't harm the leather, they don't harm the horse or anything. And it's a dollar and you get 40, so those are always good to have. Just kidding, one more Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree find. Um, this bottle I did not get from Dollar Tree. I will say, I used to get all of my reusable spray bottles from the Dollar Tree and I had to stop because they just keep breaking. And yes, they're a dollar, but is it really worth it if you're spending like $10 a month getting 10 bottles because it breaks every single week? So anyways, I got this one from like Home Depot or something. This one is from Walmart. I like this one better just because this one has a really weird top, but whatever. They get the job done. Someone from California is calling me. Not today, Satan! Anyway, um, so this, normally I fill it with regular liniment, but say I'm at a show or something and I don't have access to liniment, um, and I have access to a Walmart or a Dollar Tree, you can go and get just regular mouthwash, but you want to make sure it has menthol in it, because that's the active ingredient that makes it feel like liniment. And you put it in here, put some water in with it. What I normally do is I'll put like a full bottle of mouthwash and then maybe like a half a cup of liniment. So my liniment kind of lasts longer, but the effect is still there. And then put some water in it, mix it up, and spray it on their muscles after a ride, after a long show, anything to make them feel a little bit better. I thought I had more items here, but you can trust that there will be a part two to this because I love, love, love my Dollar Tree finds. Um, but the last two items here, this one I actually found at Target. I'm sure you can find it at Walmart or whatever, but this is the cheapest one I found. Found. This is a, what's it called? I don't know, like one of those little charging doohickeys. I don't know. You charge it and then it's like a battery and you plug your phone into it when you don't have access to a normal plug. Now, if you're like me and you sleep in the horse trailer at shows in like the little, you know, sleepy part, you don't always have access to a plug and your phone dies and you go and braid 20 horses with a dead phone and it's just not safe. Anyways, so charge this up. It's so small and easy to keep like in your back pocket or whatever. Um, always good to have. So my mom picked up this bottle this time. I normally get it from Target. I'm pretty sure she got this one from Walmart, but I think you can get it anywhere. I haven't been able to find it at Dollar Tree, but maybe they'll add it in soon. Or maybe yours has it and mine doesn't. I don't know. 
Um, but this is iodine, and this is the store brand, so it just says first aid antiseptic. Um, so it is, like it says, an antiseptic. So what I do is I clean the horse's hoof out, and then I ended up putting this in a bottle. I used to put it on with a paintbrush, but that was just a hassle. Um, so I put it in a bottle. I diluted it just a little tiny bit, little, 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 little tiny bit. And um, so after the horse's hoof is clean and brushed out, I spray this on the sole of their hoof, and sometimes you can do it kind of around the base rim. And this just helps their hoof get a lot tougher. So exam for example, when Elliot went barefoot, walking on the rocks to like get out to the pasture it was really hard for him. So after a couple weeks of spraying this on it, it kind of made it toughen up and it's a lot easier for him to do stuff like that. So that is my first little segment of Dollar Tree or under $5 fines. I hope this helps you guys. I know I've been collecting these things over the years and collecting these fines. So they're always good to have on hand, even if you don't need to use them right now. I do plan on adding to this, so hopefully within the next month or two, I'll find some more things to share with you guys and get that knowledge in your head. Love you guys.